Hi guys, um, so my name is Dana and I simply want to discuss growing out dreadlocks today because that is a point in my life that I am at now. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos describing how to go about doing this. Um, I have had my, my dreads for three years. Oh gosh, what? <laughs> yeah, like just over three years. And as you can see, they have a decent length. They're not the longest, but they have a pretty darn good length. And I can't tell you how much I have loved them, enjoyed them, but um, it's coming to a point in my life where I have bigger things to worry about than my lock maintenance. And um, I fully believe that you need to be yourself at all times and um, embody the character that you want to have and use your looks to um, really generate that vibe about yourself. So dreads was always something that I wanted. I really, really wanted growing up. And, you know, my parents were like, heck no. No, like I, I couldn't even talk to them about it. My mom thought they were dirty. Like it just, no, I couldn't, I wasn't allowed. So that was fine. So I waited till I was what, 25 years old. I'm 28 now. And um, so I've had them. I thought I was gonna have these puppies for a good 10 years, but I'm just that kind of person where I guess I need to change it up again. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna grow them out and I'm gonna get a cute, little shortcut and everything. I've been binge watching America's Next Top Model and obviously this shirt says it all. It's coffee Netflix and yoga pants. So um, <laughs> I uh, that was on Amazon, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna show you my hair. I'm gonna get to the detail. Growing it out. Now, um, as you can see with my front hair, I have about an inch and a half of growth that is unlocked, but all throughout my hair, I have this, and this is the most frustrating part, and this is the most frustrating part when it comes to maintenance. Um, nobody, I live in a small town, and there isn't much um, to facilitate dreadlock maintenance so I am stuck with either having to travel out of town or going to somebody bless her heart that does a decent job but for whatever reason my locks don't want to stay locked in so that could be just my bad right so in order to begin the grow out process you need to First of all, moisturize the roots and massage the scalp constantly because this new growth is what I am going to use when I chop my hair off. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people, when they do finally cut their locks, um, they still cut them um, just maybe like an inch down the shaft of the from the new hair about an inch into the dread. That way you can kind of undread the rest um, gently with your fingers, picking it out. Um, but I wanted to show you a lot of the women in the videos that I've seen. Um, it's more of an ethnic hair. I've seen a lot of African hair dreaded and um, I have naturally frizzy hair and um, it's thick but it's also fine and so it's just I just wanted to give people another perspective of somebody with dreadlocks and, and another um, way to go about this just because maybe you have very thin hair or maybe you have very straight hair whatever oh look at that little guy whatever it may be 
um, I just kind of wanted to show you somebody else's take and show you that, you know, I have wraps in mine. I'm not sure if I'm going to take out the wraps before I undread them. I know that I want to um, sell my locks afterward, after I cut them. So I am going to do a nice deep cleanse on them before I get rid of them. And then I will be parting. So if you have um, either any questions for me, uh, it could be anything about the journey up until this point. Uh, you know, what am I going to be doing on a daily basis? One thing, um, or, or even just like, what kind of a cut am I going to get after? Cause it's really cute. It's super bold and it's, um, something that has been laid on my heart. Now goals, goals, goals. I want my hair from my root to the end of the lock. I want it to grow out one more inch. Okay. So that could be a month and a half, that could be two, three months, who knows. Um, another goal is that I have an oval face shape, I would say. Um, my mom and I were talking about that, like what kind of face shape do I have? And she thinks it could be somewhat heart. I think it's oval. Um, oval does really well with short hair. Problem is, chubby cheeks, chubby cheeks. And, um, when I'm heavier, I don't feel as feminine in a short haircut. I have a, um, I take after my dad <laughs> as far as looks are concerned. And so when I gain weight, I see a lot more of my father in my features. And so I am really, uh, looking forward to losing um, about five to 10 pounds. And that would put me actually at a very healthy weight. It's nothing like going too skinny or anything. Like I'm a pretty average person, you know, like I don't have a lot of extra, but I do have some extra that I want to get rid of in a healthy way. So goals, 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 five to 10 more pounds and another inch, inch and a half of growth. And I think I'll be on my way. In the meantime, what I like to do is moisturize with some um, with some oils. And I will show you, uh, if you've never heard of Dolly Locks, it's a wonderful company. They're out of um, Florida. And I have right here, it's called um, Patchouli Fields Conditioning Oil. And it, I'll read the back. It, revitalizes and renews for a healthy scalp and dreadlocks with this blend of essential oils and plant extra extracts. Um, they're, they won't clog the pores. It's, it's really good. And I've noticed a huge difference in the health of my hair since I've been, um, using it. And I love running my hands through my hair. Now I have really dense hair. Um, and very hot, like, so it's very heavy. It's very thick and I love the way it looks. One more thing. I thought that having dreadlocks would make it so much easier being a mom. I have a three year old and a 10 month old and man, I just like whip my kids with my hair if it's down. So I have my hair up more often than I have it down, which is quite a shame because it's so much fun to have down. So, um, this was a very broad video, kind of touched on a few different points, but I wanted to let you know that I will be cutting it off. I'm growing it out. Um, and just wish me the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. Um, and I thank everybody else out there for their tips and helpful hints into getting to this short do of mine. So God bless y'all and have a wonderful day.